Hi y'all and welcome to my shop. In this video I'm going to be making this shop project using the NBX 5040 CNC router from Nemo Labs. It is a charging station for my cordless drills and impact drivers. I designed this project in DesignSpark mechanical modeling software and if you'd like to learn more about this software I'll have a link to a playlist of my DesignSpark mechanical tutorials down below in the video description. Once I had the 3D model complete, I exported each piece to a DXF file that I could import into my VCAR Pro software. Once I imported the DXF files into VCAR Pro, I was able to select my tooling and create the tool pass. I will make the DXF files available for free to anyone who would like to make this project for themselves. Stick around to the end of the video so you can see how, you, how to get those files. For this simple project, I'm going to use some half inch plywood. So I bought this two foot by four foot project panel from Lowe's and cut it down with my circular saw so that I would have two blanks 16 inches by 17 inches. I'm keeping the speed of these video clips at real time and I'm running a feed rate of 150 inches per minute with a plunge rate of 30 inches per minute. The bit is a 1 8 inch downcut bit with a quarter inch shank. I like to use the downcut bit so I don't have to put any tabs on the workpiece. The packed in chips from the downcut bit will hold the piece in place and make it easy to remove when it's finished. The depth of cut was 1 8 inch per pass and the router RPM was set at 14,000. The total cycle time for this blank was 3 minutes and 36 seconds. Sometimes I like to put a little branding on my project so I'm chucking up my 3 8 inch diameter 60 degree V bit from Cadence Manufacturing Design which just happens to be the best router bits on the planet. So check the link below and get you some Ginny bits. Leave a comment below and let me know if you like to put branding on your projects. And finally I'll put the 1 8 inch down cut bit back in and finish cutting out the rest of this project. I didn't record any video of the light sanding and gluing up of this project. I didn't use any screws or nails for this, just tight bond two wood glue. Then after the glue was dry, I sprayed a couple of coats of depth spray lacquer on it. I think this project turned out pretty nice and it will keep my drills, impact drivers and batteries more organized and easy to find. If you'd like to make this project for yourself, you can get the free DXF files by clicking on the link below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe and click the little bell to get notifications when I publish future videos. There are links below if you want to check out the NBX5040 CNC router from Nemo Labs. And if you are looking to purchase one, you can help out my channel by using the affiliate links below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.